God, wonder what book that was. Fifty Shades of Darkest Grey. Tempting goblet, that was not tempting. The sludge in that was enough to have me running for miles. Destroy them all. Better stop spilling his mug on me. This undead dude was definitely a clumsy waiter in previous life. Come oh, pull me with that tentacle trick. I've seen it eight times already. That's the full octopus. Psh, that's terrible. Blood dripping from the pages. It's like a DLC feature for a Stephen King novel. <laughs> You're gonna use an attack called Punishment on this guy, who's a masochist. God, this is a feel-good dungeon for this dude. God, this masochist is actually refusing healing. Uh, look at him, he's on the ropes. Oh, do us a favor, accept the healing. It's not even out of pride, it's out of sadomasochism. If you're on death's door, you better not refuse a healing. Oh, thank you. I think all that heal did was stop a receding hairline. In the end, every plan relies upon a strong arm and tempered steel. Bro, stop trying to sound all classic. All we did was upgrade the pizza oven. Oof. Let's face it, it was quite easy to get a headshot on that thing. Don't front that you're a skilled marksman. Let's fly swat this beast. Should have brought a more traditionally shaped fly swatter. You know, the waffle on a stick variety. Oof. Trying to pre digest us. Usually we season with salt and pepper. These guys are trying to season us with bile. <laughs> Considering I have a shield and a full of breastplate. To get through all that, that was an earth cracker. Taken over the edge into madness. Don't you touch our healer. Not physically, not mentally. Their formation is broken. Actually, a mace makes a good fly swatter too. Yikes. <gasps> he was a mosquito man all the time. His powdered wig was such an amazing disguise. Crush. Let's rename it to SWAT. Oh, God. How could you miss a mosquito that big? You're not a sharpshooter, you're a blunt shooter. Uh oh. This guy looking mad anyway. Oh. Many fall in the face of chaos, but not this one. Oh, nice. The least sane looking dude in here is the most inspirational. Oh, we surprised him. With the amount of my characters yelling and screaming down the corridors and on the approach, I, I don't know. I feel like surprising them is a bit of a far-fetched scenario. Let's see what the beast is. What? My character has changed into the party's mascot. As life ebbs, oh. terrible vistas of emptiness reveal themselves. I just had a heart attack <laughs> mid battle. What is wrong with this guy? Oh, actually, well, if the person in front of you suddenly turns into a werewolf, wouldn't you have a heart attack too? Oh, everyone's trying to get him! Oh my god! He deflects everyone's attack and advances in position. This is one brave cardiac arrest victim. Oh, turns out the party's mascot is rabid. His licking of the party's faces is a little too ravenous. Oh! 
What? Ah! Two heart attacks in one fight. It wasn't even donuts and fatty food that gave him those heart attacks. It was sheer stress of the situation. Oh, it's not like changing his diet would have changed his fate. My favorite character had a heart attack and died a couple of fights ago. Now my second favorite character, who is now my favorite character, just had a heart attack. This is why I hate the boonies. What? Unbalanced. No! He had our healer. Swallowing a healer is like taking a medicine pill. Oof. It's just at two of our party members. It looks full in the first place. Why would it need to eat so many of us? Oh, my days! And now the true test. Hold fast. This is like a wildlife documentary. I just watch them take chunks out of each other until it takes the last chunk out of me. Here it comes again. Oh! Proposition in this sprawling tomb. Wow. I was like a three bite meal for it. Three bites and one big poop later. That's basically what the survivors will end up as, right? Poop in the swamp. An ignominious end. From its ignominious end. Oof. I love it. I love a good disaster movie.